So today I'm going to show you how to set up a new Google Sites for your digital portfolio you'll be keeping this year. If you have set up a portfolio through another site, WordPress, um, other any other site that you've used for a previous teacher, you're welcome to use that. But this tutorial is to show you how to use the new Google Sites. So you begin by going new and under the more feature you will see Google Sites. And this basically is a very easy application to create. If, kind of professional looking website as well. So you can begin by giving it a site title. Um, one of the things with internet safety, even though this is going to be private just for the kids on our team, you do not want to use your last name, um, but you can title it whatever you want. We'll just call it digital portfolio and you can find it uh, in your drive that way. You can see that you can edit features. You can uh, change the font style, text, insert images and headers if you would like to do that as well. Um, and the thing we're going to talk about today is after you get the main page set up, how do you create a page? So you go under, you can insert various items. Let's say if you'd like to insert a text box, you could do that here. You can upload images or pictures either from your drive or from, from your camera. You also have dividers and other features that you can play around with down in the um, toolbar. But what we're going to do is we're going to add a page. So the first page is going to be kind of your blog of sorts where you're going to kind of keep a going record list of your learning experiences. But we're going to make a new page for science and social studies. And these are going to be requirements as part of our classes um, as we get used to that. So you can create a new page for social studies. And then you can change, add text box, you can insert, and of course, change themes if you would like to as well. After you've created a social studies page, and you're going to include one for science. And that's where you're going to keep, um, kind of curate and, and kind of reflect on the learning that you do, kind of like a digital notebook um, to show growth and the accomplishments and the goals that you have this year in both classes. Now, you're welcome to add a page. Those are the two required pages. Let's say you would like to add a page for language arts or a page for all your other classes, or let's say you want to create a digital portfolio for the work that you're doing in band. Um, any of your academic classes you could add to this um, and then insert work on your own. But with science and social studies, those are going to be the ones that we're working on. And I'm going to begin with social studies. So um, when we create a page, we can insert a text box and we can begin by, let's say, inserting our Google slide, our Explore project. And as you can tell, I cannot type and talk at the same time. Exploration project. Now, um, there are there's lots of information on the website about kind of how to write posts. But if we just simply wanted to share our work, uh, we would go back to, let's say, um, we'll use this Google slide presentation. If you created any Google slide, you can go to the share button. And if you click on that, um, you can make it accessible to anyone with the link, which is what we'll want to do. You go under advance. And right now, this is private only to me. I'm going to click change. And I'm going to say anyone with the link can view. You don't want to make it that people can edit. You certainly can add comments if you would like to get some feedback from your peers, because we will be doing some peer review. And even parents will be reviewing your digital portfolio. So that's an option. Um, but we're going to leave it can view. Um, and then you see it creates what we call a hyperlink or your URL. You're going to command C, control C, whatever computer you're using. And then you're going to highlight the text. There's a couple ways that you could do this. You're going to insert a link and you can present it that way. You can uh, post that and that will link to your project as well. Um, you can also, if you all fancy, you can figure out how to embed your um how to embed it, and that is going to be a little bit more complicated, which I won't show you, but you can try if you are technologically savvy, you can embed your project as well. And we're simply not um, just posting things, but we're writing reflections, kind of the glow and grow. What did you feel you did well? What could you do better for next time? Um, and kind of write evaluations from that as well. Oh, here's a great feature as well. If you just want to import from your drive, you don't have to do what I just did. Um, that's an easier way. You just find your uh, file and you can click and it will directly insert. That's really great for images and for projects that you have already done. If you've made a video, um, you can do that as well. Don't forget with science and social studies, we using Flipgrids. Remember, you have to insert a text box before you can type anything. But um, if you go to Flipgrid, um, you can easily share the links 
um, as well, if you enter the, the grid code, you can go and find a link and then insert it with your digital portfolio so that you can also post and even play around and possibly embed those into your digital portfolio. So have fun, play around with the design, make it simple. However, um, if you want to use another web hosting service besides Google Sites, you're welcome to do that. But when you are ready, it does not have to be perfect, but when you're ready, so you have the outline, we call it the outline, you're going to publish it and you're going to give it a name. Um, and so this will be, um, we'll just use, now you don't want to use your last name, so I'm going to make it sample portfolio. Okay, And that is going to be, notice this is hosted through Wake County, so if you make a Google site, it'll go through theirs as well. And it will tell you if it's available, you can change it for anyone on the web or, or someone having to use WCPS at uh, .net. Um, and then when you click publish, then your page goes live. That is when you copy and paste your URL. Um, when you want to view the site, you want to preview it. You can add editors, but we don't really want to do that for this type of project. But um, you can preview it, see what it looks like, um, take the URL, and again, copy it and go back to our digital portfolio page. And that is what you're going to submit to your teachers so that we're able to see your digital portfolio and your growth throughout the year. So have fun playing around with your Google site.